Rosenbaum is a journalist who writes for the New York Observer. He secretly filmed an initiation ceremony from the top of a building near the Skull and Bones headquarters. Members of the order dress up as the devil, the pope, and a kind of Don Quixote character. The Pope wears a white monogrammed slipper which rests upon a stone skull. Each initiate is led into a chamber where fellow members shout obscenities and abuse the new initiate. The initiates are told that they are superior beings and are part of a privileged elite who use war, terror and famine to control Earth's human population. This callous philosophy was illustrated in the Hollywood movie Skulls, made in 1999. He's come pretty close. She was part of a team that successfully recorded part of the initiation ceremony that takes place in the tomb's courtyard. Okay, you have the doorway here. Yeah. Okay, then to the right you have a hedge and yeah. then you have um, an evergreen tree. If you follow yeah. that line straight back, courtyard's in there. Oh, okay. So, so that's where they have the ceremonies in The, the outdoor place. part of it. Part of it was indoor. So we only got to see the outdoor part. Right. We only got to, and, and to listen to the outdoor part. God only knows what went on indoors. And what did you hear? What, what was it you know? You managed to get this unique Oh, it was disgusting. It was gross. I mean, they were pretending to murder people. And what was the tone of it, though? Was it was it jokey vicious. or was it quite... No, it wasn't jokey at all. It was it was sick. It's about the only thing to describe it. It was sick. What you're hearing is the first recording ever made of the Skull and Bones initiation ceremony. It has never been broadcast before. Fifteen new members of the club are being introduced into the macabre rituals of Skull and Bones by the senior students who are about to graduate. The club has what some might see as a strange fascination with death, skulls and bones. There's the chance too, difficult to hear first of all, but including the devil equals death and death equals death. <laughs> Green tree. If you follow yeah. that line straight back, courtyard's in there. Uh, okay. So. So that's where they have the ceremonies in the, the outdoor place. part of it. Part of it was indoor, so we only got to see the outdoor part. Right. We only got to and, and to listen to the outdoor part. God only knows what went on indoors. And what did you hear? What What was it? You know, you managed to get this unique. Oh, it was disgusting. It. it was gross. I mean, they were pretending to murder people. And what was the tone of it, though? Was it Was it jokey? Or was it quite no, cool? it wasn't jokey at all. It was. It was sick. It's about the only thing to describe it. It was sick. What you're hearing is the first recording ever made of the Skull and Bones initiation ceremony. It has never been broadcast before. There's the chance, too, difficult to hear first of all, but including the devil equals death and death equals death.
Then, members performing a mock killing. We can find the order behind the Russian Revolution, the Bolshevik Revolution. We can find the behind the rise of Hitler. We can find the behind, we can find the behind in the maintenance of both of these systems, the now, transfer of technology to both. Since you've already proven that Wall Street is behind the Bolshevik Revolution and the rise of Hitler, now you're proving that the order is behind Wall Street. Exactly. You were both in Skull and Bones, the secret society. It's so sacred we can't talk about what it. What does that mean for America? The conspiracy theorists are going to go wild. Oh, sure they are. I don't know. I haven't seen the web. Number 322. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Russert, the moderator of Meet the Press and NBC's Washington Bureau Chief, collapsed and died early this afternoon while at work at the NBC News Bureau in Washington. Let's go on with um, the subject of the Illuminati and its symbols. You will find the symbol of this secret society on the back of a one dollar bill. So he told me that you're going to see men running around caves looking for Osama bin Laden. You know, you're going to see men looking for, you know, these guys. And they're going to be, you know. They told you it was all going to be pulled. It's a phony. The whole thing is a fake. It's a fraud. Was he laughing or was he just coldly saying this? No, it was more laughing. Cynical. Laughing. You know, it's more like how stupid everybody is. Look how stupid everybody is. We can do whatever we want to do. Hunt down those people who committed this unbelievable, despicable act on America.